Hey guys, so I wanted to share with you how to hold items in <coughs> Revit. Um, <coughs> the reason why, why I want to share this, and I also want to briefly talk about some other options as well, is <coughs> when I was trying to um, move an element through a project just to show, or through a building, to show how it would move you know from point a to point b um uh coming into the building you know if it would clash into any element and i was trying all these different things and um it's and this is when i didn't really know navis works at all i mean there's you have a few options but they're the best one is to actually take the element and um animate it so animate it from point a to point b and then uh, you can add clashes to that so that you can see if it clashes in anything while it's moving throughout the project. Um, you know, visually you can check that, but uh, you can clash it as well. If there's a ton of things kind of going on in the movement. But to show some of the options, or at least the holding option, it's really easy. But real quick, uh, the other thing that I tried to do, and it was kind of funny, was change the um, viewpoint options or not the viewpoint options but the third person options so you can see uh, like uh, there's a uh, right here in realism so that'll be on your viewpoint tab so viewpoint tab and then your navigate panel you have realism and you can turn on a third person now right now in this option it's just this sphere looking thing uh, and I was thinking like, oh, okay, maybe I can change it to, you know, for this example, it was like a huge, it was a freeze dryer. That's what it was called. It's a huge piece of equipment. And uh, if you change it, um, you have to kind of go uh, into some Navisworks folders and save uh, those elements in there. And then it gives you an option to choose those. And it actually kind of causes uh, a bit of a mess and it's hard to control. I mean, because... You would want the equipment, um, you know, especially if it's being moved in uh, with a fork truck or some other option or some other uh, piece of equipment that moves it, that it might be elevated off of the floor by a certain amount or, and, uh, you know, while it's moving throughout there, you, you, you couldn't really tell if it was hitting anything or it was hard to visualize it. Uh, you couldn't control the elevation because that could change on you. So there was a whole bunch of things that kind of caused issues. And if you go to your up here, if you go to viewpoints and then on this save, load, and playback panel, if you click on this, you can go to settings. And then uh, in here, you can set on collisions, which is kind of cool. And you can set on gravity as well, which is nice. So you will clash then into items and, and, and or at least run into it won't, it won't let you go through stuff uh, and the gravity would keep you kind of on the ground but it's really hard to see auto crouch is if you have like the worker in there and I'm gonna pause it real quick so I can find that setting oh it uh, I totally glanced over the setting so uh, I'm going to close out of this so I can show you again. So back here, if we go into this and then go into settings or the collision settings, uh, right here gives us the options to change it to different uh, things. So we can uh, change it to a construction worker, press OK, press OK, and then we can see that it changes. Uh, when you move this guy throughout the building, he will crouch under certain things, which is kind of cool. And he crouches at different levels. So you can show, you know, while you're moving throughout a building, you can kind of show... Um, him to kind of give context to the rest of everything else which is nice but it it doesn't really give you a good idea of what space he consumes and stuff and if you're trying to show a piece of equipment moving through a building it's really difficult uh, to show that so I'm going to go back over here and turn that third person off and then I'll show you how to actually move an item so what you would do is select it and then uh, over here in the home tab you can uh, actually the items tool tab 
uh, and this tab will pop up when you select an element you can press hold and what this will allow you to do is move the element oops I'm gonna do that again so we'll click hold and then we'll move the element and now that you you can see it kind of moving through the screen so it's like another option for you if you're moving a piece of equipment or if you have like a, um, a fork truck in there or some other piece of equipment that you kind of want to move just to show how it would move throughout a site that would be one option if you're not using the animation or essentially changing out your third person person um, character which is pretty easy to do it's just literally going uh, in some folders and then saving the models there but uh, this is another option this also allows you to kind of move the element around uh, you can un hold it and then or release it and then you can see it still say stays in the current position uh, I think if you reset everything so if you click re reset transform it will move it back so what we'll do is grab that one more time instead of moving it in that way what we'll do is click on this we may need to zoom out to see if this actually works okay there it is and we can move it this way as well so there's a few options you have when you're moving an element uh, you may want to shift this around when you're in a meeting if, if something doesn't look right especially if you're in a meeting with a client and this is the model you're working with you may uh, just to kind of um, uh, allow them to relax if it is something that's like weird and it's clashing you can say okay well this is going to shift over somewhere you know in this general area or if it's uh, for well this is another example I um, was in a model and the partner we were working with modeled a bunch of content um, clashing uh, with practically everything it was uh, they had pipes going through uh, right in front of a refrigerator I mean to the point where you couldn't even open it uh, if that was real really where they were gonna put it uh, um, in the middle of doorways stuff like that and to just make them kind of calm down what we, you could do is press control uh, H which is gonna hide those elements or you can right click on it and then come down here and hide it as well or you can shift it around or you can come back to your items tool and hold that element and then and then move it that that way as well so you have a few options there so I just wanted to show how you can hold an element talk a little bit about some of the other options so move hide uh, and then also if you want to turn on third person uh, or and then set up collision collision and stuff when you're kind of moving elements throughout the project uh, and kind of see how that operates but again I would recommend if you are moving a piece of equipment from one point to another say if it's like uh, you want to demonstrate how a piece of equipment would get replaced is it even possible to make the rotations and to get it through through the building and out of it and then load it on a truck or something uh, I would uh, recommend animating that which is really easy and then uh, you can set up clash to run against that and it's a really nice visual it's a little bit more controllable or a, a, or a little bit uh, cleaner than grabbing something and move, moving it manually especially if you want to show the process uh, which is really nice I do have a video out there on animations but I may create another one in the future but hopefully this helps you out uh, and thanks a lot for watching